So you've probably seen some kid with like a learning disability or like a special needs kid, right? But have you ever thought to yourself, why are they like this? Well, the answer might be because of this dude. So let's set the scene. Okay. The 1920s. Cadillac has just made a new car that doesn't require you to like get on your knees and like crank the engine or whatever because you used to have to do that with like cars that this crank you have to like crank it to start the engine and it might hit you in the face who knows there was a problem with this self-starting engine and it was that it cranked and it was like really loud and it vibrated and yeah it wasn't very fun and Basically, this caused a bunch of problems where it shortened the lifespan of the engine and it led to like decreased fuel efficiency and it, it just was, it, it was very bad and so people started to try and find new fuels to basically get rid of it. So eventually this guy called Thomas Midgley Jr. comes along and he basically finds a new way to prevent engine cranking by putting lead in the gasoline. Midgley did experiment with other additives. He found that tellurium did prevent the knocking, but the problem was that it smelled really fucking bad and he said that like I don't wanna I don't wanna burden humanity with the stench or whatever. He also found that ethanol prevented the knocking um in the engine but you needed a shit ton of it for it to actually work which would be pretty expensive so he decided to scrap that eventually midgley found that lead was a suitable add-on for this fuel and it did everything that he wanted to do stop the engine cranking and it was pretty cheap and it didn't have like any smell or anything there was just one problem with this and it was that lead was extremely toxic to humans um it lowered iq it lowered brain function it fucked up your immune system it could be stored in your bones and poison you for years it was it's just an awful element to be exposed to as a human and if nearly every car in the world had leaded gasoline that was pumping lead into the atmosphere humans would literally be breathing in this awful element every single day now luckily midgley did see the awful effects that lead had and he calmly dropped the subject and he tried searching for a different additive fuel, and just kidding, he contacted every car manufacturer in America and got it put into everybody's fuel. This basically meant that from around the 1920s to the 1990s, there was an entire generation that was just breathing in lead every day of their life. <laughs> this is why I genuinely believe that like lead air has like caused a lot of the problems that we have in our world today because the generation that was breathing in that leaded air is the same generation that's basically in control of the world today and has all the power is making all the decisions and those may not be the best decisions. <laughs> There's also the theory that lead causes mental illnesses and mental disabilities because it like fucks up like the neurotransmitters in your brain or whatever and that's why I said at the beginning of this video like you know about like those special needs kids is because lead might have actually caused their disability. Lead also saw like a surge in violent crimes across the country and this has been the same with many countries that have used leaded gasoline. They saw a spike in violent crimes um, throughout like the time that they used lead and then once they banned it, violent crimes went down. And so the theory is that people who breathed in a lot of lead as kids grew up to commit a lot of crimes but then once they banned it it you know it went down back to normal in the 1990s the US finally banned leaded gasoline from cars and the rest of the world soon eventually banned leaded gasoline around the 2010s and now there's like barely any countries that actually use it and it's basically banned across the world moral of the story uh don't put lead in gasoline like a dumbass and poison an entire generation of people for a hundred years. Uh, yeah.